Glad to have you checking back here at 724. Check this out. High school may be in the rearview mirror for 2020 graduates, but we're continuing to recognize their hard work and accomplishments. Colby Thielen met a student who says she was disappointed when she found out she wouldn't return to Crispus Attucks for the end of high school. And when you see the impact she made on the school, you could say the feeling was mutual. And look who's here. Colby Thielen is here to tell us all about her and her work. Colby. Hey, good morning, guys. You know, when I first saw the list of things that she was able to do in just four years, my first question was how not only were her extracurriculars in and out of school in the double digits, we're talking JROTC, math tutoring, even coding club, but she also worked as a registered CNA or a certified nursing assistant, and she managed to finish first in her class. Somehow it seems that the six scholarships she received were too few. Becoming valedictorian is no easy feat. When you're involved in close to 15 different organizations, it's even harder. So how did Faith Harrington do it? I pray all day. Um, I pray all the time. I pray about anything, and it's just like having a conversation with God. At times, that conversation was ongoing. So many nights when I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I pray and I get through it. You could say Faith relies on Faith to give her all, all of the time on the Tigerettes dance team, on the links, or on the job, which is why Faith admits she was mad about the news she received back in March. I was actually at work and <laughs> I had to go on break because I had to calm down. Like the rest of her class, this journey would end at home. Before I even went to high school, I was like, I want to be valedictorian and give a speech at graduation. This circumstance is not a burden. It is a blessing. Though it wasn't in front of a packed gymnasium, she was able to record that speech for a virtual ceremony. I kind of led with just having strength and, you know, what will you actually do with your strength? It's just like, who will you be? Who will Faith Harrington be? Faith Harrington wants to be a philanthropist. Faith Harrington wants to be somebody that's always in their community, trying to make change where change needs to be done. But what she wouldn't change, even knowing how it ended, her time at Crispus Attucks. I feel like I've just grown so much in the last four years. I just like the person that I am now. Like, I think it's really important to just really like who you are. Faith heads to DePaul University in the fall. She's been thinking lately about studying psychology so that she can help in fixing the nation's mental health crisis. She says whatever endeavor she takes on, she's confident that her faith will play an important part. Jess, Ray, I send it back to you. What a great outlook she has. You can tell that uh, yeah. she will be a leader. Colby, thank you.